guys, Crew Blind and Wave, I'm Eric. I'm Aaron. And we're back with Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Last time on Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Aaron? Uh, we had uh, dry meatballs, mm. right? Okay. Yes. Uh, there's also uh, the the undercover stuff. All that mm -hmm. stuff was wrapped up. Yep. There's uh, some dating the one guy got possibility away. stuff going on back and forth. One guy did get away, yeah. right? Um, Whoa! Oh, we weren't ready! This was stupid. I'm getting a vasectomy. My ears are burning. Someone say vasectomy? What? I got snipped. No big deal, just numbs you out from trunk to skunk for a year. It's not supposed to. Trunk what? to skunk? What's that Hold mean? it up. Numbs you? You're gonna let some quack doctor just knife around down there? You are blessed with a great power. And you should never snip its wings. You should let it soar. Thanks, guys. That's enough. I don't need any more input. Neither does your wife, I guess. Look, you guys, if the sergeant wants to chop off his penis, that is his choice. That's, That's not how it works. That's not what a vasectomy is. If you guys don't get back to work, I'm going to start firing detectives. And blanks. Sorry. jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else? God, no need to be so testy. Guess you won't be manning the tip line. Sergeant, is this going to go on your sperm and record? <laughs> now playing Scrotal Recall. Uh, scrotal recall. Santiago, when I greet the deputy chief, I want you there by my side to make a good impression. No offense, but you are something of a teacher's pet. None taken. <laughs> People love their pets. The good news is, our evaluation will be done by deputy chief Brandt. Brandt. We have a good rapport. He was once my captain. So he's kind of like our grand captain. That is amazingly <laughs> funny. <laughs> 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 oh, 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 it's so bitter. What's wrong with this chocolate milk? Dark milk isn't chocolate milk. Huh? This is tea to mouth raw cow's milk. The bitterness of the chocolate brings out the sourness in the milk. That's the worst part of both of those things. <laughs> <laughs> My sister was going to go with me to an engagement party, but she had to cancel. So go alone. I can't go alone. I'm worried it might seem a little pathetic. Yeah, if only you could have gone with your sister. <sighs> Dude, why are you going to your ex-wife's engagement party at all? She and her fiancé, Hercules, are also my landlords. Hercules. I mean, it's not like I could avoid them. I live in their basement. <laughs> hey. You could go with me. Can't. I have a date tomorrow night. Okay. I will figure something out. Maybe if I pay my neighbor Joanne, she'll ditch her wife for the night. <laughs> Captain, I don't know if this is too much, but I got Deputy Chief Brandt this little basket of pears. They look ripe and... Crispy. Crispy. Hello, Raymond. Oh. Who's this? This is Brandon. Lunch. Wait, I know. Nope. See you. No, nope. this is lunch. But if you're here, who's guarding Haiti? <laughs> <laughs> I will attempt to cooperate with you under these new circumstances. Don't sweet talk me, Halt. I gave it my best shot. <laughs> 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 you can read the fun book to me. Yeah. I'll, I'll just I it. gave it my best shot. Oh, of course. The doctors made me into a superhero. I'm so strong. They made me blue. He's on a lot of medication. We weren't able to do the procedure. Your friend is so large that you needed a bigger shot to get through his dingus. No, his body is so physically massive that we didn't have enough anesthesia on hand. He needs a much larger dose. <laughs> I'm gonna take you home now, Sarge. Hey, what do you think of Captain Hull? Oh, he needs to smoke some weed. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, your head is so small. No, 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 it's so small. Where do you keep your brain? I like how he's looking oh. around. Too. What? Why are they doing this? It's like an Old Spice right. commercial. PJ's on, read you a story, checked under the bed for monsters. Check again. <laughs> you gotta promise me. You won't let them give me the operation. I want to have more kids. I don't want them to sex with me. Promise Aww. me, tiny head. Promise me. <laughs> Jeez. His muscles are just so like... Because <laughs> I'm not done with my testicles. I'm gonna let him see! <laughs> Man, I hope he didn't fall asleep right now. 
<laughs> like, You're stuck. Ah! Uh-oh, walk of shame. Same clothes as yesterday. I slept at the Sarge's. It was horrible. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to interview that suspect. I have my makeup vasectomy this afternoon, so. I'm sorry, your what what vasectomy? Last night you told me you didn't want that. Then you fell on top of me and changed the shape of my skeleton forever. <laughs> no, I definitely won't lie. As his friend, it's my job to stop him. <laughs> sorry, Terry turned my spine into a loose stack of pebbles. And Jeez, a loose stack. I haven't gotten an F since I failed recess in second grade. What? The teachers need a break too, Amy. We were doomed the minute she slithered into the precinct. When we first met, we had some good time. Looks like we both want that stapler. Seems that way, based on what happened. <laughs> <laughs> what? Good times. I'm sure you can tell I'm quite drunk. I've had a couple to build up the nerve. I thought we both know what I'm about to say. Raymond, I don't think we need to say anything. I'm gay. That's what I was going to tell you. Well then. She sabotaged my career because I refused to bed her. <laughs> her face. Thank you for coming. I wasn't sure if you'd get my message. Charles, it was kind of hard to miss. Oh, God. <laughs> Just because we have secret, shameful sex does not mean we are friends. Forget friends. Let's go as bone bros. Uh, I didn't strike you when you said knocking but, boots, but bone bros? I cannot abide. <laughs> <laughs> well, according to the internet, Dr. Mendel is the best couples counselor in the Park Slope area who accepts same-day walk-ins. Couples counseling? Sorry for wasting your time. Wait, please don't leave. This cost me so much money. <laughs> <laughs> you and I are work friends. Now, if you will excuse me, I'm going to the doctor's office. Hmm, not good enough. Prepare to be physically overpowered by a friend friend. <laughs> Is it gonna work? Cancel the appointment. <laughs> I've got you. You can't move. <laughs> you can see defeat, sir. You have been conquered. <laughs> I love the, the I holding back one. You thought I cost you that promotion because you're gay? That's what you've been mad about all these years? It's one reason. I'm mad because you tried to get me thrown off the force. Yeah, because you shot me. I shot you because you were in the wrong position. You weren't following orders. What about the time you destroyed my personnel file while I was undercover? What if there'd been a mole? You were trying to make me disappear. You embarrassed me in front of Derek Jeter. You embarrassed yourself in front of Derek Jeter. Huh? <laughs> huh? Hey, Rosa. How much you say today? Better follow me under E. Edgy. What the hell? What? Cornrows. The theme of their party is Jamaican me marry you. It's so good. Jamaican so, me marry you. So, I still don't have a date. Unless this sweet maze head has changed your mind. I think we both know it hasn't. We do. <laughs> we do. <laughs> we do. <laughs> And it reminds me of a story. I had this sweater. It was a work sweater because it only seemed work a pro. But one time I wore it out to dinner and I was like, oh dang. This sweater is cute everywhere. I get it. I'm the sweater. No. I don't I have to show the means. Sarge I can be a good friend to him outside of work, too. No. Thank you, Gina. I'm gonna stop him. Dick, I have no idea what you're talking about, but good luck. <laughs> what was her point? <laughs> I don't know. That grade is the only thing standing between me and a future where you're not my captain anymore. <clears throat> Which failed the 9-0 when their captain was fired. I attempted to cajole her, but she rebuffed me. I'm not a man of unlimited cajoling. <laughs> well, you better become one. Because I need you in command. This precinct needs you in command. Cajole up, Captain. His sentence, I don't know why, but I loved it. It's so good. Unlimited. Look, look at her. She's like, what have I done? <laughs> unlimited cajole. Hey, a little bit of good news. I figured out the case. Remember Gregory said he got off at the York Street station the night of the stabbing? Well, I took the subway here, and it's closed for construction. Hmm. So what you're saying is... You lied. I stabbed him. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Jake, you were right! I don't want the surgery, tiny head! 
NYPD, put down the scalpel and step away from my work friend's wiener tubes. My work <laughs> friend's <laughs> wiener tubes. Look. What <laughs> the <laughs> hell? It's not a good sign. You're making me married. Hey, Amon. And oh, you changed your mind. I blew off my date and said I'm gonna spend a hellish evening in a Jamaican torture chamber with you. We're gonna go to this terrible party. I'm gonna laugh at all your jokes. I'm gonna talk about your Medal of Valor, and I'm gonna make you look like a Jamaican god of rhythm. Sebastian from Little Mermaid. Also, tomorrow, I'm gonna help you find a new apartment. I can't live in your ex-wife's basement anymore. Wow. Respect, man. I'm gonna reach my toast in the car. You're giving a toast? More like we're giving a toast. Ugh. Ah. Uh. Jake, I have to tell you something. Oh, boy. I am a little conflicted about having a vasectomy. What? Really? Is that why you threw an EKG machine at the doctor? <laughs> <laughs> You're a huggy good uh -oh. Uh -oh. No! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You fell asleep? Did you sleep with Doc like that? You received our grade. How did you get her to change her mind? I had to compromise everything I stand for. You are now and always have been the superior police officer. And? The Derek Jeter thing was my fault. I'm sorry you had to go through that. What happened with Derek Jeter? It's a grade for your performance these past two days. A letter grade so as to not be weird about it. Oh my god, you really shouldn't have. C. An A? A. Thank you. It's just on a post-it note. Does your system have pluses in it, or is like A the highest? <laughs> I got you a little present. Yeah, watermelon? Carrots. Do you know what a present is, Terry? No. Eat your carrots, or I'll rip your tiny head off. No. No. Come here. No. <laughs> I hate being friends with you. <laughs> yeah, apparently there was one night where I was spooning Maggie. Uh huh. I had my arms around her. And she literally couldn't get out of bed. You just like locked in place, <laughs> like rigor mortis. I guess. <laughs> so she woke up. Wake up! <laughs> she tried to get away. <laughs> She's like, oh, this is sweet and terrifying. She tried to get away. <laughs> <laughs> so just imagine like her trying, like, like, Rick! Rick! And you just. <laughs> It'd be like you. Like if you did that. Yeah. But you're sleeping on your, like, your left ear. Yeah. Hey, I could, Rick! I got pretty limp. You can move me. You just need enough force. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so this episode is called Chocolate Milk. Chocolate Milk. This is so The much idea of a chocolate milk restaurant at the beginning, you're like, all right. But then you're like, I wonder what kind of stuff they would have. And then it sucks. And how was it spelled? It was. Well, like the, the restaurant was D R K M L K or yeah, something. Yeah, Dark like Milk. That's right. Which is, there's just no vowels. Yeah. But. It's I, a hipster restaurant. Am I supposed to be relating that to this to what was going on with Terry? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, you know what I mean? No, I know what you mean, but I don't no. think so. <coughs> Check out the vowels. <coughs> huh? No, he's talking about how Terry's milk would no longer be as protein filled. Yeah. And that the, Terry is were, a dark man. Is no that one? what you're saying? Hey, Peralta said it. <laughs> Chocolate and milk. Where I'm chocolate. Your milk gives you protein. Yeah. Now, isn't the opposite of dark chocolate milk chocolate? How do they make milk chocolate? Is it just a bunch of sugar? There's much more sugar in it. Yeah. There's no milk? There's also white chocolate. There's, I mean, there's probably, there might be some milk. Mm -hmm. But, like, the dark chocolate is, like, more heavy condensed with the c c cocoa beans. Cocoa. Cocoa. Cocoa, cocoa. cocoa leaf? Uh, they're spelled weird, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's spelled like cocoa. cocoa. There's, like, A's in it somewhere. Yeah. But, but it's just cocoa. It's it's that, like, whatever yeah. they do with that, and it, there's less of sure. the sugar, milky kind of stuff in it. So, Melanie loves that. You ever see those, uh, like, there's videos of, like, kids that have, like, well, here, here's chocolate powder, but here's cocoa powder. And they see it, and, like, <gasps> and they have it, like, <laughs> yeah, it's so funny. You're telling me, lo my, uh, you're telling me Melanie loves something that's bitter? Bitter. I don't, I'm, I'm, I, like can't, I don't do dark chocolate, dark chocolate very much. Yeah. I like I don't like dark chocolate as much, but that's her favorite. I like milk chocolate. I like white chocolate. It's kind of think of a menu for a chocolate milk restaurant. Is that bitter shit the only stuff they serve? I feel like it's more like a coffee shop than a yeah. restaurant. Yeah, like a know? Starbucks. Yeah. But you know what you can get at Starbucks? Food! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, do they have, like, Cocoa Pebbles and chocolate milk? Or That'd something? be a cereal restaurant. Yeah. They have cereal restaurants, right? Yeah. There's one here. Yeah. 
Huh? Is it still there? It Where? was. It used to be. There's a cereal restaurant? On the yeah. other side of the block. What? Where? Putnam Street. There's no cereal restaurant there. There was. There was. I don't think it's there anymore then. Uh, I mean, it was there all the way up until like last year. What was year. it called? It was there until the I pandemic at the very least. Yeah, they had like different kinds of donuts and stuff too. I never went to it, but I never buy it every day. Why did this never For come years. up? For years. Why did this never come up? Why don't we ever go there? Why don't we vlog it? Cereal restaurant. What kind of cereal do they have? I don't know, because when I want cereal, I just have cereal at my house. Yeah, but you gotta buy a whole box. I don't eat cereal all the time, and then uh -huh. it goes stale because you don't have time. You could go buy a bowl of cereal and eat it. It's, it's just Seinfeld's favorite place. What is? He likes cereal. Oh. Mm. I didn't know they had it. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if I you know. <clears throat> Screw that up, Eric. Yep. I'm okay. very impressed with Rosa or surprised at Rosa. Something with Rosa. I'm something. I don't I know exactly what it is. That she was there and is gonna go with Boyle to oh. this Jamaican thing. Yeah. And it's, and it's nice the idea of like, well, we're also gonna get you an apartment. Yeah. She is just she can't let him do this, these things that he's doing. You know? Yeah. Like uh, Jake couldn't let him go full boil. But he likes Boyle enough where he's like, he's fine where he is, you know? But Rose is like, I can't let him go a little Boyle sometimes, you know? Living with Hercules in the basement. I don't know what Hercules looks like. I mean, I'm, I'm sure we're not going to see that wedding, but yeah, I want to see what Hercules looks like. Yeah. Is he like Lou Frigno? I don't know. That'd be great, yeah. <laughs> hey, little man. Yeah. Um, it's, it's, it's still like, I, I love the character of Rosa. She's so funny, but... It's, it's moments like that when you realize, oh, yeah, she is just drop-dead gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And you just, it's this thing about her characters. You don't think about that the first you know, It's not the first thing you think of. Mm -hmm. But when you see her like in an interview or something when she's not acting like Rosa, it's just right in your face and you, you can't help but see it, you know? But I like moments like that where you're like, oh, yeah. Yeah, she's a very beautiful woman. <laughs> <laughs> Rick, you know what would be better, I think, though, maybe? Rather than someone like as big as Terry or bigger than Terry as Hercules, uh -huh. do you you remember Psych, right? Yeah. Do you remember the episode, the jockey episode when they were at the yes. horse track yes. and there's like the old bully they have? Yes. But he's like shorter than them. Yeah. But he's just like he just has attitude and he's like, yeah. You know, like that would be great. Like yeah. Boyle's afraid of like a, he's like a smaller guy, but his name's Hercules and he bullies Boyle around. Yeah, that would be funny. I think that would be kind of a funny way to do it. He's like, ah, ha! you know, <laughs> <laughs> he picks him up on his head, spins him around. The best thing about Boyle is it's not like his. It's not like his quirks and stuff that people are like look down him on. The best thing about him is that he is confidently Boyle. Like he isn't ashamed. Like I, yeah. I think there's a certain level of like attractiveness in that that he's so confident with the things that he loves. You know. So I, it, it's, it's not that I think or, that he needs to be fixed. It's that he needs that, to find the person that accepts him. Yeah, that suit. <laughs> yeah, that suit. That suit is something. Yeah. I think the, the hair. I think maybe you can get by, but that suit. I don't know about the hair. The suit you could probably wear. No, it's the other way around. Depends how you wear. It. The suit. Yep. It was. He was wearing the Jamaican flag. I mean, everybody there was gonna be wearing that. The Jamaican flag. It's a theme. Maybe Hercules is Jamaican. Jamaican. Jamaican me crazy. Yes. We met uh, Wunch this episode, which is the rival or a rival for uh, for Holt. She was the star of a show. Yeah, she's been in. An, I've seen her. Around. I can't. I don't know her name. I can't remember the name of the show, but she was like a, it wasn't like a detective. It was like a defense attorney. Or Alan McBeal. No. Oh. It wasn't that. I can't remember the name of it. First thing, yeah. I, first thing I went to, Rick. I saw like the pilot because um, uh, J. Jonah, J. Jonah Jameson's in it as well. J. R. Simmons. Simmons. Yeah. Uh, her name is Kyra Sedwick. She's an American actress best known for her star starring role as Deputy Chief Brenda Leigh Johnson in the TNT crime drama The Closer. That's it. The Closer. That's what I yeah. That's fine. The Closer. She's also in Phenomenon. Na, 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 na. Phenomenon. No, the movie with, uh, with John, Travolta. John Travolta. Yeah. Wait. Well, he's like a, a magical, angel-y something or another? No, that's, the, that's Michael. That's Michael. Uh, Phenomenon is Is that whenever... also with John Travolta? Yes. Yeah. But <laughs> Phenomenon is whenever he... Uh, he like gets really smart and he can do telekinesis oh, and stuff. Yeah, yeah he's yeah, like okay. a shooting star and, or yeah, something. Yeah, people think like it's, it's an alien okay. or it's magic yeah. or something. <clears throat> There's a spoiler. Yeah, no spoiler. Yeah, it's an old movie. It's good though. I like it. <laughs> All right, man. He's a, he's also the angel and Michael then. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Because I was thinking of that. I'm like, oh yeah, phenomenal. Yeah, yeah, he's like crazy. smoking and drinking angel. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway. And then uh, after you, you guys said no, then I went to the field goal kicker one. The field goal kicker. One. Yeah, he's not in that. Garbage picking, field goal kicking, Philadelphia, Philadelphia phenomenon. 
home and You remember that? That's Tony Danza. Yeah, I know, but that's where I went to next. I'm like, maybe mm. there's this. Yeah. You, I, I just love the introduction. He's like, if you're here, who's guarding the gates of Hades? Who's guarding? <laughs> <laughs> they switch so quick. I know. I loved it. And it's so weird the way he does his stuff because there's no change from when he is just talking with everybody mm -hmm. to when he's like, that was extremely funny. Yeah. To who's guarding the gates. There's no change in the way he delivers yeah. any of the lines. But, but, but really, there is. There's not. There is. And and he did he did laugh when they both went to the state park. He did laugh then. Like, he didn't yeah, really but that was back in the day. He also, he whenever uh, Boyle had his joke, uh, I can't remember exactly what the joke was, but he's like, that is amazingly yeah. funny. Yeah. It so was she, the grand captain or whatever. So yeah. she is like the female Holt, right? Uh, I mean, they just they, they came up together, and then she was promoted over him. I felt like her delivery was similar. It's pretty similar. She kind of has like a Brooklyn accent to her, but kind of similar. Yeah. I really liked her. Yeah, I want to know what happened with Derek Jeter. What happened with Derek Jeter? <laughs> like what? It was my fault. He compromised all of his beliefs, he said, or something like that. He's like, it might have been my fault. I don't know what happened, and we might never know. No, and I guess we won't see Brant because they retired or whatever. Yeah. So, yeah. Captain Wunch. 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 Such a, it's a weird last name. Mm-hmm. They, uh, we also got to see a uh, drugged-up Terry, which is always fun. I loved that the doctor was like, we just don't have enough anesthesia. <laughs> His body <laughs> is so massive. <laughs> well, Jake's like, need a bigger saw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I like that, too. But no, he was funny. I love, like... I just loved his like high thing. The way thing he had with Kevin Holt, he's like he needs to smoke some weed. Yeah. <laughs> and then he's like tiny head, and like he was looking for his brain, mm -hmm. like turning it, like where the hell's the batteries yeah. go, kind of thing, you know? Yeah. Like, like Jesus. Uh -huh. I said no, it's fun. I like Terry Crews. He does. He's just so funny. And I think what makes it so funny too is that he's such a big guy, you what? know? That he just he plays it so well. It's like him and white chicks, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. I mean, you just can't help to look at his arms whenever you can see them, you know. Yeah, yeah like I was worried whenever he was like moving his head around because uh -huh. he could just squeeze. <laughs> he could snap his neck by accident. They made me a superhero. Like I'm so strong. <laughs> they made and I'm me black. black. <laughs> <laughs> whenever he's walking and Jake's like trying to like hold him back, uh, and I love the one when he's like this, like yeah. against the wall, like holding it, and he's just. Pushing forward. That was really good. I love that so much. And his confession at the end was funny too. I stabbed him. <laughs> <laughs> he looked so serious. Yeah. I stabbed him. Oh. All right. Well, it was a, it was a fun episode. Uh, we are. Do, 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 do. Oh, oh and when two. Boyle said, I got one. And, like, I don't know why I got one. And then he was numb, skunk to trunk for yeah. a year. For a year. I, I'm, I'm going to guess that it messed up. <laughs> I'm assuming that just means. I'm assuming I know trunk. I'm guessing skunk is back to your butt? Yeah, yeah. I'm guessing it's from ass to the tip of so his like dick. His no, it can't be. That, the tip of your dick is not the trunk, Eric. The trunk is included with the tip? No. From the ass to that? No, you don't have it. The top of a tree is not considered the trunk. Yeah. That's not how it works. It's an elephant trunk, numb nuts! No. Yes! No, tree yes. trunk. Like the no. roots. His dick root. I want the air on this one. I what? Am. You're wrong. From the skunk to the trunk. Yeah, the, yeah. the, the trunk, the, the base of the, of the dick no. where they do the surgery. No way. He was definitely meaning trunk as an elephant trunk from here to the tip of the dick. Uh, it's impossible as the I've other heard, way. I've heard lingo of like dick root and stuff yeah. like that too. And stuff. Like, yeah, that matches No, tree, I get you, but why elephant. would they... Why would he like use a moment of measurement and only use the base of a tree and not an entire tree? You know, because he's talking, about, he's talking about the he's, entire trunk. No, he's t that, that, no, he would say from the tip. He's talking about the trunk. He's talking about the base of it, where they do the surgery, like down towards the bottom. It went a little further and then went all the way to the back. I think he's talking about from his asshole to his dick. No, I don't agree. Paul, <laughs> <laughs> down in the comments, let us know what you think. Thank you guys for watching this episode of Brooklyn Nine-Nine. You can watch the next one right now over at patreon.com slash flywave. Full link there as well. What do you think? Where is the truck or a man? Point to the doll. That's not a doll, right? It's too, too long. Don't worry. I'm drawing a doll. They can't point and see anything. Anyway.